Hey guys, it's Ali. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to put a disclaimer here. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of a trigger warning right here. I will be discussing themes in this video that have to do with drug abuse, um, sensitive topics related to pregnancy, and just sensitive topics in general. So if you feel like this might, you know, trigger you or, you know, make you upset, um, I'll definitely post another video probably sometime soon with something less severe. Okay, but I do just want to, again, do a disclaimer that this is how I choose to story tell and if this is not how you choose to story tell that is perfectly fine but without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video hey guys it's ali welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing superbly awesome wonderful splendid today this is gonna be my second video back and i'm super super excited if you are new to the channel a lot of what my channel has been and will continue to be about is stuff revolving around gameplay and storytelling in the sims 4. i know that ah. in recent years um the topic of gameplay and how much in depth it goes in the sims 4 has been you know a wide um, a widespread topic of discussion and i will say that the sims 4 has gotten a tad bit better but i do know that there are still some kind of plot mm -hmm. holes in gameplay that us as players are kind of left um it's kind of left up to ourselves to kind of fill these holes um and really make a life that is mm -hmm. interesting and complex and in-depth um, with our sims not going to make this intro too long so let's go ahead and get started so the first topic of discussion i wanted to talk about when it comes to storytelling in the sims 4 which i want to get out of the way because i know not all of us are pc players here um but if you are as we all know mods are very i personally feel like very um important when it comes to storytelling and i'm not saying that you know none of us can storytell without mods but i do feel like if you have the chance and the opportunity um and the computer and the willingness to download mods from other creators i do think um it, it benefits gameplay a lot especially when you go into mods you know such as the um childbirth mod for example that recently just came out where you know you have realistic childbirth and you know those those balls that I, i've never been pregnant but like those big like balls balls that like pregnant women like sit on and use to like kind of help with contractions and stuff like that or you know you have base mental drugs or you have wicked whims which i'm not gonna argue <laughs> about um you know these mods they're my babies i love them they're so precious um but a lot of mods can can definitely help gameplay that's for sure however this video is not a mod video it is a storytelling and gameplay video so let's get started with um the second i guess part of storytelling that is very 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 important i feel um is your sims physical appearance the way they dress their style their personality so cast is really the where like it's the first part where you really get to create the story hmm. of the sim sometimes kind of with their um outer appearance or physical appearance so for example right and i swear i'm not trying to judge a book by its cover you know me just a disclaimer um but this is one of my sims delaney richmond she's actually part of my richmond legacy here on youtube which i'm about to kickstart again and let me ask you a question right first look at miss delaney hmm. girl here who do you think she is and what do you think her story is if you guessed yeah. a bisexual starving musical artist who is also clearly a cat woman you are correct if you didn't guess correct you need to unsubscribe from my channel i'm sorry i'm sorry i can't do it no nah, i'm just kidding but anyway mm -hmm. um your sims appearance can tell you a lot about them so like i said um delaney is a little bit of kind of a kind of a hipster vibe starving artist and i said bisexual which i'm bisexual and i wear the same shit so also i know people in real life that only like to have their hair up they'll literally never let it down or i know people in real life that only like to have it down as you can see and they never put it up little quirks like that little things like that really help to kind of set up a sim's personality you know it's not just the traits or you know the aspirations and whatever okay i don't know why i don't like this hair on her okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna go ahead and do that one but i'm actually unable to edit her skin details at this time but i would really encourage you if you don't use them at all to kind of play around with you know the moles and the freckles and stuff like that um i know i used to be 
like, hell no, I'm not putting moles and freckles on my Sims faces because they look so cute. Um, and I don't want to mess their faces up. And then you add a mole, not saying moles mess up your face, but I just, I don't know. I got used to their like, like face without anything. And then I added a mole and I was like, why does this, why does this little dot, this little black dot just add, like it adds character. It adds character. It adds uniqueness and stuff like that, especially, um, the base game mole that's like right next to the lip. I just think it's absolutely so cute. Also mess around with accessories, you know, I'll actually change to one of her different outfits here. So Delaney actually has two nose piercings and, a, and her ear piercings, of course, which I do want to say that and we'll get to in, into it later, but a lot of storytelling is downloading lots such as, you know, tattoo art, like tattoo parlors, my bad, piercing parlors and stuff like that. And actually taking the time to take your sim to, you know, the tattoo parlor and clicking on the mirror and saying plan outfit and, you know, making a little like putting a tattoo on your sim, exiting out and being like, yeah, like my sim actually went to a tattoo artist, got a tattoo. And like, you can even like use cheats or something to, you know, take out some of your money to make it look like your sim actually paid for the tattoo. You know what I'm saying? Like it's things Things like that that um do take a little bit of thought and effort into them but i swear like once you actually do it it's so fulfilling um to actually you know have your sims like do people things like we do and you know not for them to just sit at home because you know the sims 4 is getting better but it's still lacking a little bit so we kind of have to improv you know but really that's pretty much as far as cast goes you know mm -hmm. change up the hairstyles change up the hair colors if you use just one or two hair colors you know maybe branch out i don't know like change it to like this gender ginger color which she looks so good in this color you know stuff like that or like Ooh. this pink you know have your sims like go to the hairstylist or the hair salon and get their hair dyed quote get their hair dyed i guess the last little bit i would want to oh. add um to cat is don't just like i don't know i feel like everybody kind of neglects like sleepwear mm. and swimwear and stuff like that because they're kind of easy to just like you know you throw some underwear on your sims and you know you're done and i know some sims can do that i know sims some, some sims do wear that um but just like in real life we don't all wear the same stuff when we go to bed we don't all wear the same swimsuit so delaney here she's rocking the cardigan the knitted shorts and the top um and then she's got her little socks on so like if you never put socks on your sims i would actually definitely try to do that because it's something so small that literally adds like the most and delaney isn't doing it right now but like if your sim has long hair maybe put her in a different hairstyle in her sleepwear where her hair is up and out of her face um or his face so you know they don't have to deal with it while they sleep okay. and then swimmer for example um she's just wearing mm -hmm. it's a little scandalous have some of your sims wear one pieces have some of your sims wear you know two pieces or Ooh. bikinis and i don't do this all the time but you know how some people like at the beach and stuff or even the pool they'll like they'll legit they'll put on a hat like this big hat i want to show you guys i downloaded it it's so gigantic oh my god but like people wear this stuff you know what i'm saying so like do something like that also like this is cc of course but um sometimes i'll have like my sim wear like these cc sunglasses on their head or even if you don't have like custom content you can get like these sunglasses like this just looks so beachy it looks so swim mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like add these little like tiny touches and I swear they will make literally the biggest difference in the world. And my final note for Cass would definitely have to be, um, you know, change up your mm. tattoos, um, look into scars. Um, I can't remember if uh, like base game has like their own scars. I really don't remember, but there are CC like skin detail scars that you can put. Um, I know there's some CC stretch marks even like that really adds some character to your sim as well. Um, and then my last little bit would definitely have to be when it comes to traits if you do if you are a mod person and you like mods definitely download some new traits um but if you're not a mod person or you're you know on console switch up your traits okay because i feel like a lot of us can use the same traits over and over again they're like our comfort traits right so like cheerful or outgoing or family oriented those are good to have for some sims but not all sims are going to be like that so for delaney i have she is a very adventurous person you know put some 
thought into your sims traits you know why is she adventurous well when she was little her mom and her dad antonia and theo used to take um her and her big brother javier um on lots of different trips and she learned to be adventurous from this she loves to travel right obviously she's a music lover because she's you know kind of a starving musician kind of making her way up in the world right and then we actually have lactose intolerant which came from cottage hmm. living some of our sims can't drink the milk and can't eat the cheese but anyway with that being said let me know down in the comments if you have any other tips for you know storytelling and all that when it comes to create a sim but let's go ahead and hop in live mode and see what we can kind of do from there all right we are here in live mode and y'all already know what i'm literally about to talk about first and if you don't you will see why i'm about to talk about this first okay so storytelling um it's the calendar babes it's the calendar so when we're storytelling first of all before we you know tell the actual story why don't we put in like a couple realistic calendar holiday or holidays on the calendar so i renamed it thanksgiving because i just think it's realistic but we only have harvest fest and spooky day and love day and winter fest and that's literally it when in real life we have a lot more holidays like for example in the united states we have july 4th we have memorial day stuff like that and i'm sure um in different countries and in different cultures there are like so many other different things that can be made into holidays as well so i literally jam-packed my whole calendar full with holidays and it really goes well with storytelling especially i don't remember i think i think the calendar actually got added to base game with cottage living i correct or i remember correct me if i'm wrong but this is great so even if you don't have seasons i'm pretty sure you can still make holidays if not i feel like this is probably geared more towards the seasons people um so for example let's see what do we have we actually had back to school yesterday which is a good storytelling um event i had baking as a tradition and then taking photos which i have custom um traditions but for example we have the annual fall festival coming up here on friday afternoon evening ish okay and so for example um you know i'll go onto the gallery right most of the time i usually go to um the most popular lot sometimes i'll do popular now and then let's go ahead and put in fall festival for example and as you can see look at all these amazing literally so perfect like fall festivals you can put in your game and i'm sure a lot of these have like the horseshoe games um and stuff like that or even like i'm pretty sure I'm not sure if there's like a pie eating thing like the sims 3 gosh i haven't played sims 4 in, in quite some time so i don't remember but like stuff like this like you got the fall festival or you can even add like a winter festival or like quote, like a, a light show if if that makes sense like stuff like that that coincide with the seasons and listen even if you don't have seasons i am not i am not shitting you like you can still make pretend seasons so you're not so you're not gonna have anything right here on your you know little like ui right here you're not going to have any seasons um but every like week or two in like sim days change up like the decor of your house and make different holidays to make it feel like there's actually seasons so like every week um or not every week but like every two or three sim weeks you can like download if you if you have um, a pc like download like a fake tree and like presents and stuff like that even if you don't like literally if you're on console just cheat in like our actual real tree into your house and like size it down and then call it a christmas tree and like put presents i'm telling you like it's stuff like that and how this goes into storytelling it's like so many um events and, and holidays and stuff like that are crucial to some sims um when it comes to their culture right and some sims are just i don't know they like certain seasons more than others for different reasons i feel like delaney is more like a fall and winter gal whereas like i feel like her sister um where is she where is she her sister andrea she's still in high school she's more of like a, a summer person you know what i'm saying and it's not that i really didn't like say when these two were born i wasn't like okay delaney's gonna be a winter person and andrea's gonna be a summer person it's more like as you watch them grow up you kind of get to learn who they are in a way um it does help with mods because it adds like more like spontaneity if that's the word to your sims um but if not it's still like you kind of just know you just know and it's so hard to explain to people right, i could literally go on and on and on about you know the holidays and the calendar and stuff like that very 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 important i guess the last thing i want to talk about before we actually get to the storytelling part is also the home okay the lot that your sim 
lives on. I want you to decorate it and I want you to make it how you think that sim would like it. Another kind of, you know, example. Yeah, and she's going to bed, so she'll be out of her hair. It'll be fine. Delaney, as you can see, she's she's kind of the messy type. She is kind of the messy type. You know, we've got like all this cutlery and all these pans and stuff. She just loves like this kind of interior design. Um, and also take pictures with your Sims friends and, you know, your Sims family and put them around the house. That is going to add a lot of, of little character. Okay. I have her and her little sister right here. Let's her and her boyfriend. I actually got to wake her up because the cat needs a clean litter box. Um, but as you can see with her being, you know, a cat person, she she has a lot of knickknacks around here, you know. I actually have a video that I, you know, posted a while ago um, when I first kind of started my channel about how to make The Sims 4 cats and dogs a little more fun. I kind of go into detail about, you know, doggy parks and doggy daycares and animal play dates and, you know, all that good stuff. I actually had to mute her cats for a little bit because they need a trip to the vet, but... Another example of, you know, creating the home, creating your Sims home to be something that really speaks to them is having like, like I said, pictures earlier, or we even have Delaney's <laughs> um, university graduation portrait up here, as well as her degree, little knickknacks like that. I'm trying to think, I got this salt lamp. Um, it's CC. Um, if you guys want to know where I got it from, let me know. I'll definitely post it down in the comments for y'all, but I love this. Definitely add some more character as well. All this stuff. I mean, seriously. Seriously, custom content is the best for sure. But even if you don't have it, like for example, the snowy escape heater, it's just so realistic. Like who doesn't have one of these? You know what I'm saying? I literally forgot Delaney has like, she's a she's a literal barista and she's up at 5 a.m. and she's got no sleep. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? My man Vlad, no sir. I swear, I am not a big occult fan. Like, don't get me wrong, they're all right. But it's like, for this very reason, like, I don't want vampires knocking at my door. So this is obviously not Delaney. This is Delaney's older brother, Javi. I just kind of wanted to switch up the scenery for this part of the video. We're just going to watch him kind of chill, you know, look around for snow globes. For this next portion, let us talk about the story in itself. And this is where the trigger warning um, definitely does come in so when we think about what it means to be a human right the beautiful yet terrifying part of existing on planet earth is that there are a lot of good things that happen but there are also a lot of not good things that happen but as we all know a lot of the bad things that happen to us even though they hurt in the moment they really shape us they shape our character um and even though you know they might not define us sometimes they really do kind of help us into um maturing into the people that you know we are meant to be because a lot of these bad things that happen in our lives um they can serve you know as lessons you know what i'm saying so when we talk about that i want to get started on um the orientation of your sim i guess is the right word backstories are very very important and to kind of give you guys maybe a little bit of inspiration on, on what i feel a backstory um not what it should be but the potential of how you know how good it can be when it comes to storytelling um is definitely when we look at um javier's mom antonia so this is antonia she actually um is adopted right um here's her father he has passed um her mother has also passed but she's not showing up for whatever reason for those of you who are new to my channel um because i did do a let's play with this girl um antonia was actually adopted she was found <laughs> as a newborn in a trash can um by her mother who was working a night shift at a restaurant um and that's the thing like add those little details you know what i'm saying and she ended up taking antonia in and they marco and his wife um actually were suffering from infertility which is another part of life that can be you know so painful but it's a part of life these things are a part of life and i will always argue for this um you know, not to start any tea or drama, but I really don't like when people say stuff like that shouldn't be in this game because this is a game of, of storytelling. Of course, it's a game about creativity, but a lot of us use it to tell stories about everyday lives, including our own. Okay, so they actually suffered from infertility. So she was like a godsend, but they actually ended up having um, her sister, Mariella, and then adopted, later adopted her brother, um, Jaden, who 
actually has two children of his own rico and kiera with another woman um who she he was married for for about or married to for about 20 years um and then he actually you know was, came to terms with his sexual identity and orientation and he did divorce her because he is actually gay and so he's actually living in his own apartment right now in evergreen harbor and i do plan on um having him find a partner eventually and um the divorce was you know it was kind of rough it was kind of rough but um they're definitely co-parenting right now the best that they possibly can but anyway not to get too sidetracked antonia actually lived her whole life um she even i'm pretty sure she had javier not even delaney was when delaney was born was when her actual her birth mother actually you know came up and was like hey you know i'm your mom and you know antonia doesn't really talk to her birth mother anymore but that's definitely that's that's what i mean by storytelling okay and i will say that legacies in my personal opinion are the best way to storytell in the sims 4 because not only do you have like for example not only did i have antonia's life um to storytell and look after as well as her husband who i really you know liked playing with um but four children we have four children that we can do anything we want with their lives four very different children that have different likes and dislikes personality traits and stuff like that you really have the full ability to creatively express you know anything it is that you know you want to express and also speaking of you know infertility issues and whatnot antonia actually ended up having a miscarriage after javier was born um and we knew it was a boy and it was really hard on them i actually have screenshots um of that moment also screenshots are very important too poses are very important if you do have um a pc I definitely look into the pose player mod but stuff like that it's just super crucial to storytelling um i even had like a little you know grave set up a grave site set up for their son you know it was really hard but they had each other theo and antonia had each other and that's that's really all that matters and they ended up having three more beautiful beautiful kids love them all love them all stuff like that is really important also the relationships you have with other people are very important the dynamics of those relationships um and stuff like that so i would really really refrain um of course it's your game to play um but i would kind of steer away from you know having your sim you know meet somebody off the street or so something like that getting married having kids and working and all that or even like i used to be really obsessed with making like high school sweetheart sims and stuff like that um but i ended up doing that too much and i started kind of incorporating having multiple partners before you actually you know find the one that your sim is gonna marry right javier is currently dating eleanor i don't really know how it's gonna go but you know this is one of his okay so he dated paulina forever ago but they're best friends um and then now he's dating eleanor who is quote a high school sweetheart but you never know like this might not be the one he might end up dating like multiple people before he finds the one and on the contrary in contrast some sims just they're not gonna get married like some sims don't want to get married also some sims just don't want kids and that's okay you really have to add that diversity um in your game excuse hobbies we plants hobby is actually <laughs> he's a weed dealer which is part of base metal um but if you have base metal definitely you know uh, interact and experiment with you know the different types of dealing and stuff like that and the different types of you know psychedelics i'm not glorifying it but you know it's a mod it's a mod to be explored but also definitely don't put your sims in like the perfect home i really love how these pipes just leak like so much um this is a really good apartment it's like um, a fixer upper apartment if you also want to do storytelling gosh i don't even know what i want to talk about anymore so like i like i said just to kind of wrap things up um backstories are very very important also lots are really important so i would look up like fall festivals or different types of lots like arcades or even just like teen or like a like young adult college hangout spot bars different types of bars um delaney i actually downloaded a nail salon for her to go to now with the um that new spa day update how we can get our nails done um putting down lots like that very very important i guess my final thoughts here would have to be you know because the video is getting long um cast you know cast is very important in those first steps of really you know telling a story for your sim right um the building that you that you have and and the decorations that you choose also so very important what is your sim like what do they dislike and and who are they truly because hobby honestly i don't know if he wants kids and that's just the reality of you know the the 
the beauty and the duality in humanity i think i'm gonna wrap this up but i just want to let you guys know if you are new here um my let's plays do deal with this kind of storytelling like i was saying my let's plays do deal with stuff like this i mean uh, you know like i said i've had miscarriage and infertility issues i've actually played around or not played around that sounds awful but i have incorporated um you know drug abuse in my stories i've incorporated emotional and verbal abuse in my stories you know what i'm saying like it's so stuff like this is so real but it allows like simmers to possibly use this as as an outlet to release the emotions and the feelings they have towards things in their own lives you know what i mean um it's a really good way you know to be like hey i'm not alone like even <laughs> even if this sim is like a fake character on my screen i'm not the only one who has been through this stuff a lot of other people have and i can promise you one of my favorite storytellers was actually um urban sims with her foreman series and i really really appreciated um her for incorporating like nixon um having you know an, an alcohol like substance abuse problem literally um because his wife passed away during childbirth stuff like that you know but i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here i hope you guys liked it comment down below if you have any other suggestions for storytelling and javi says bye again i will see y'all soon i hope you guys have a good one